So today I'm going to be making a chicken silon. I will take you through the ingredients. So we're starting with uh, two dried red chilies, a piece of cinnamon bark or cassia bark, uh, about 10 centimetres long, and four, and I'll crush them before they go in, uh, green cardamom pods. Three teaspoons of garlic ginger paste. We're adding in, uh, that's half a large red onion, finely diced to give some texture. A spice mixture, I've got two tablespoons of my own mixed powder recipe on my youtube channel one and a half teaspoons of hot chili powder um, can use medium i prefer to use hot adjust to your own liking and as this is a south indian dish i have got half a teaspoon of uh, ground ground black pepper onion paste so what i've just done before i came online i just blended uh, cooked in america for 12 minutes uh, diced onion that was one and a half large onions and then I blended it with uh, probably about two tablespoons of oil uh, into as you can see a nice texture of a thick yogurt. Uh, once that's warmed through I will be a tomato paste so I've made this using tomato puree here you know, for the squeeze out of the uh, tubes so in there there's four and a half tablespoons of tomato puree and then I've watered it down to the approximate consistency of uh, tomato sauce or tomato ketchup. Uh, oven baked uh, to medium size uh, chicken breasts uh, again the recipe is on my uh, YouTube channel and in there there's about 14 to 15 uh, pieces of chicken which is about the amount you would get for two people in a restaurant um, we will be adding salt to taste uh, for sweetness uh, some mango chutney you could use sugar if you need if you want to or other sauce of sweetness as it's a salon uh, it's all about the coconut so I will be using uh, the coconut cream from this can. This is a one I got from one of the supermarkets, but not the water. I'll discard that. And to add some more, a bit more of a coconut punch, I'll also be adding a couple of tablespoons of uh, coconut milk powder with some kasuri methi, about a teaspoon. Um, half a teaspoon of garam masala. That's quite potent, so not too much in there. Two tablespoons, but I'll just say a handful. Uh, of uh, fresh uh, chopped coriander. We'll add that in at the end. We'll save a little bit back for garnish. Right then, let's uh, let's cook a chicken silon. So we'll get the gas going. And we are looking, going to use three, I'm actually going to use four tablespoons of oil. Sounds a lot, the restaurants do uh, use a lot of oil, but you do need the oil to cut the spices through. And as we've got whole spices today, we're going to use four tablespoons. I'll just let that heat through. You can see the oil just starting to sh uh, shimmer now so I'm going to uh, put in the dried spices. There we go, so get those in. Give them a little stir. Give them uh, 30 seconds to a minute just to infuse the oil. You should be able to see now the uh, oils uh, warm through and you can just see the Spice is just starting to pop and bubble. So my next ingredient today is uh, garlic and ginger paste. I've made uh, fresh earlier today, a uh, recipe on my channel. I'm going to add in, I'm going to go three heat uh, teaspoons. We like lots of garlic in our house and ginger, so uh, put in as much or as little as you need for your uh, taste buds. So a sizzle. And what we're doing now is cook out the rawness. What we're going to do next, which is optional, we're going to add in a uh, finely diced uh, uh, onion. This is half a chopped onion. This is just to give some texture to the final uh, sauce. Stir it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put these in. I'm going to give them a stir. Oh, it's really lovely. No longer than 30 seconds. So we're then going to add in the onion paste. Now, if we weren't doing onion paste, I'd probably put a splash of water in now just to stop the spices from burning. But let's get the paste in there. Stir the... Uh, so that's good in now. So I'm just going to let that heat through. I'm going to pop the lid on. We'll just let that come through to temperature. Let's have a look. That to simmer away nicely. I'm going to get the tomato in now. 
So as the tomato goes in, obviously it's going to drop the temperature a little, but then we're going to cook out any rawness of the tomato. Stir in, good stirring. I'll pop on the lid. Okay, let's give it a stir. Next ingredient to go in is the chicken. So again, there's a probably a portion for two there, or a hearty single portion. We'll stir that in. Just a touch of water. So just the consistency slightly. We'll do some more adjustment later. Give that stirring. I'm going to do now put the lid on and leave it to simmer for four to five minutes just let the chicken heat that through fully. Right then let's see it's been about five minutes now let's see uh, how it's coming along. Oh look at that. Let's give it a good stir. So we're going to add in two tablespoons of coconut milk powder. Dissolves nicely, nice uh, uh, coconut flavour. Uh, get it online or in your local Indian grocers. Give it a sprinkle, can be a few lumps in which we'll need to break up in a second. Always put a little bit more in, there you go, two and a half. Give it like the coconut. Give that stirring now, looking at looking out for any lumps, stir the lumps in. Right at this point I'm going to add in some sweetness. I'm going to use a mango chutney. You can use other form, use sugar if you want to. Um, so I'm going to add in your two teaspoons. Again if you've got a sweeter tooth, restaurants tend to have quite a, you know, a fair amount of sugar into dishes, add in what, what works for you. Again, give that a stir in, build in extra layers of flavouring. Salt to taste, I'm going to go with half a teaspoon. Again it's up to you if you uh, want to put more in. So the next ingredient to go in is coconut milk. I'm going to dig out this cream. I'm going to put it all in. Yeah, because it'll only go to waste. That's two huge ones. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just dissolve those three spoonfuls in first. So give it a good stir in. That's also loosened the sauce up too. Tamarind sauce. Some recipes have this in, some don't. So I'm just going to put in approximately two teaspoons. If you don't have it at home, leave it out. Made from pulp's best. A little bit messing around, but worth it. Give that a stir in. Once it's looking lovely, slightly. Just going to guess at the amount for uh, the kasuri methi. I'm going to crunch it up a little bit and rub it between your fingers as you add it in. Finally, you take a good pinch or bunch of uh, coriander and I'm just going to chop it in to the gravy or the curry sauce. Doesn't need to be too finely chopped. What I'm going to do now is turn it down, pop on the lid, just let that cook through for a minute to two minutes, and at that point we're ready to serve. Let's serve. Beautiful gravy. Now that is one tasty looking dish. We'll just finish off with some coriander, just to garnish. Beautiful. Time for the taste. Lovely sauce. Look at that. Wow. That is delicious. Gorgeous. Coconutty. Heat. Sweet. A little bit of sour in there. Beautiful. Enjoy. Enjoy your dish. Thank you.